Hello friends, thank you for joining our Big Fat Mixed Media Tribe and today I will show you something really interesting uh, which I'm very excited about. It all started with these two vintage microscope slides which I gave myself as a present for my birthday. I got them on eBay and they are the cutest things possible. They are labeled. One of these microscope slides contains a pupa of uh, some bug and the other one contains a part of a head of a bug. And I really enjoy having little curiosities like that. And then they inspired me to try mm -hmm. to make uh, ephemera for a art or junk journal or just as a little gift and this is what I made. They are, of course, much bigger than the microscope. Microsoft. <laughs> I keep saying Microsoft. Microscope slides because they are not supposed to be scientific objects. They are just mixed media curiosities or ephemera inspired by the real ones. So I made them from cardstock using transparent film and I will show you how I made them today but we will turn it up a notch and make them even more interesting than these ones. So it all starts with cutting the general shape. I used this tag die by Nicole Silhouette but of course it can be any tag die or it can be just a shape cut with scissors. I, I searched through my cutting dies for a medium-sized uh, tag die, so I decided to use this one. And I cut several ones, and I will be working at the same time on several, uh, let's call them, microscope slides together. Because you can never have enough ephemeral light, right, to decorate your journals. So after cutting the general shape of my tag, or in this case microscope slide, we need to cut the central circle. And I went through the many, many circle cutting dies I have to find the one that um, fits the best, uh, this tag. And I will be cutting a circle uh, roughly in the middle. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just eyeballing it and putting the circle in the middle of my tag. And here are all four tags with the central, central circle cut out. And the first thing to do would be to age them a little bit. So I used a quite thick cardstock, the craft cardstock to cut the tag itself. And I will be using a brown ink to go around the borders just to slightly darken the borders and give them aged look. I am darkening the outside edge of the tag or of our slide and also the edges of all the openings. The uh, hole on which you are supposed to hang the tag and also our circle in the middle. Wonderful. That makes the cut paper not to look so new and pristine. It looks used now. And the next stage is to make the labels. I took a paper which I long time ago dyed with tea. So it is an ordinary printer paper, very thin, and it has been dyed by dipping it into a tea. And I have a huge pile of these papers, which I used for junk journals normally. And it works perfectly for this project because it looks really aged and vintage. And I went through my collection of stamps and I put, took out all the uh, label stamps, which I thought suited for this project. So those are empty, most of, most of them are empty labels with no text. And there are bigger ones, smaller ones, and I'm stamping a whole bunch of them and darkening the borders again with brown ink just to age them even more. And even if I'm not going to use all of them on my slides, they are great ephemera on their own. 
and probably they will go into happy mail to uh, my friends with whom I exchanged the ephemera. So now I'm gluing the labels down. I sort of decided that I will do one label on top, uh, smaller labels on the bottom of all the slides. I am gluing the bigger labels, I'm gluing smaller labels, uh, round labels, and I'm using uh, the art glitter glue because it grabs really quickly and it is really easy to work with it. So the labels on the last slide and one on the top. And then I tried to find a way how to uh, imitate uh, the handwriting. You know that uh, all the vintage labels, they have the label itself and then somebody has written something on the label. So in our case it would be uh, indication of, of what we are seeing in the slide. But, of course, we are working symbolically here, so it doesn't need to be a name of the bug or plant or anything. It just needs to look as a script. So I took a script stamp and the blue uh, ink, which looks like an ink with which you used to write, and slightly faded. It's not very bright. And I'm very happy how it looks. I'm just stamping the text on very randomly on the labels, and I really like how it looks. And on the bottom, I found different uh, stamps which have uh, things like number or little, little tiny signatures on them just to add some more interest. And the final touch is to take um, a little text stamp. This one has to do with science, but it doesn't need to. Again, everything I do is uh, just to represent the idea of a slide. And I chose a, red, chose a red ink, and you saw that I switched in the middle for a brighter ink uh, to imitate um, a commentary somebody might have uh, written on our slides. And as you see, if you look closer to the originals, you see that there is this raised area uh, in the middle. So instead of using a transparency film, I decided to use these. These are coin holders. People use them if they collect coins and each coin goes into this special holder. So it's a plastic holder which opens and I thought that this would imitate perfectly uh, our, uh, our microscope slides and it matches this cutting die uh, perfectly in size. But of course if you cannot find a cutting die which matches your coin holder you can just uh, use uh, geometrical, how, how do you call it, compass, the geometrical compass to draw a circle and cut it out. And I thought for a moment what I'm going to put in these um, coin holders and I've decided to use a transparency film but in a different way. So, and I had loads of, this is ordinary transparency film for the overhead slides, which I have for maybe 20 years from my previous life when I was working in an office. And uh, I'm cutting it in smaller pieces and I will be using the same cutting die to cut little circles that will fit into the coin holders. This time I'm using a small uh, die cutting machine because it's quick and very convenient. And this transparency happens not to be very thick, so it is very easy to cut with uh, die. And since the die, of course, is slight, is measured according to the outside of the coin holder, I'm cutting it a little bit smaller to be able to put it inside the coin holder. So I cut about a millimeter off all around the circle. And then I decided to use just some small stamps. As you saw in the slides, which were already done, I used, um, I used uh, st snail stamps and skeleton stamps, 
which are more closer to the which are closer to what you would expect to see in a microscope but here i just thought i will go through my stash and just find uh, random tiny stamps and uh, other unusual things that might go into the microscope slide and this is a butterfly which is printed on a transparency so it is it is already transparent all i needed to, all i had to do was to cut it out and it went perfectly into our slide so you can think of whatever creative uh, things you want to put in your slides they really do not need to be the bug heads or bug legs <laughs> so and uh, now I decided to imitate a little bit the glue that goes around the middle part of the slide where they glued two glass pieces together to house the um, bug. So I'm using um, a glitter glue again. I contemplated, as you saw for a moment, using um, an embossing ink pen, but then I decided to use an um, a glue because I wanted this glue line to be a little bit thicker, rounder. Uh, at the end I saw that the glue line was not thick enough anyway so I could have gone even bolder with the glue here. And I'm covering the glue line with uh, embossing powder and melting it, it using glue gun. And I used two types of uh, uh, embossing powder one is this brownish uh, ambery yellowy embossing powder and another will be you will see will be this uh, uh, greenish rusty metal color and when my glue line is finished the most uh, satisfying part the finishing of the microscope slide and putting everything together so I'm putting this little uh, tiny figure stamp in one of the slides and it's so satisfying to close the coin holder and to see that it works so perfectly and in the second one I'm putting our butterfly wing and let's put on the cover and close it and you see that the cover and the base of the coin holder grabs the tag and squeezes the tag between the two parts of the coin holder it works perfectly and in the last one i've decided to put the, a piece of an artificial plant <laughs> of course it can be a dry plant a real plant anything you want and just to decorate or add the finishing touch on the back side to not have it bare i put this uh, stamp which I was surprised to find in my stash with a microscope and um, sayings which have to do with uh, science like let's experiment together for example or I have my eye on you just to finish um, the other side of the slide too and not to have it bare. And let's close the last one. And here are all four of them and I really I am really really happy how they turned out and I hope you like them too and you would like to try and replicate this uh, project for yourself and here are the previous ones oh aren't they gorgeous <laughs> so I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'm leaving you with still images of this project and please press, press the like button if you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments what would you put in your slides, what would you like to see under the microscope. Thank you for joining me today and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!